Today we're going to talk about how to get started with your classroom website. In order to do that, we're going to use Google's site building tool at sites.google.com. You can see the address in the address bar. And if you're logged into Google, it will bring you to um, the Google Sites page where you will have a list of all the websites that are in your um, account. Now, if this is new to you, you won't have any websites in your account, but I have a few here that I've worked on uh, over the years. And if you want to get started, there should be a Create button on the left side of your screen in the menu. We're going to go ahead and click on Create. And the first thing it's going to ask us to do is to choose a template for your site. You can choose to start from scratch with a blank template, or you can use the uh, classroom site template that has some uh, pre-set up classroom type uh, pages already there for you and then if you aren't interested in those templates you can browse the gallery for more and there are lots of options if you search uh, the public list and you type in classroom or classroom websites you'll see a, a long list of options you can choose from I'm gonna go ahead and choose the classroom site just because that's what most students use and then hit select and then once you've selected your template you're gonna to want to name your site keep in mind that whatever you choose to name your site will be added to the URL for your site so try to keep it short rather than long and also uh, keep in mind that sites may not be available based on your name so they don't have to match exactly so for instance if I type K12 Tech here it's going to probably tell me that it, that's not available when I get down uh, and hit save for this page so if that happens you can come back in and you can change this um, URL to a, a different address you may have to add your name, you may have to add a series of numbers or something unique to you. So for this page I'm going to name this K12 Tech Fall 2016. If you would like to select a theme you can do that here. This will change formatting and colors, uh, text options, and keep everything consistent for your page. If you have selected a template, however, you may not want to choose a theme that will overwrite what's in your template. Um, if you do select one of these and you decide you want to go back and change it later, there are features available to do that. Under more options, you have um, a place where you can put a little bit of a site description, so it's always good to add that here. I'm just going to type, uh, this is the official classroom page for Miss Ritter's EDUC 2263 K-12 technology. And then you have the option to select whether or not your site contains mature content that is only suitable for adults and we do not so you also have to verify that you're not a robot and once you've completed all of your selections here you want to hit create it may take a moment for your site to get created depending on your internet connection speed and here we go so this is the classroom website editor you'll notice my title here just like I entered it <clears throat> within the classroom website template you'll see the sidebar with the menu items here that is set up for um, this classroom website keep in mind you can customize this and remove any of these items that you don't plan to use the home page for this template includes a student of the month a word of the week and announcement and homework assignment sections. If you choose to use this template, you will need to customize each of these areas special for your class. 